The Windows 8 Metro interface is quite a departure from the traditional desktop of Windows 7 and previous versions. Basically it works by these tiles which gives you uh, a way to start programs but also can reveal information about them. So once you have an email address set up you'll see new emails coming on the mail tab and instant messages appearing on the messaging. It's very easy to get started with one of the apps. Just click on its tile and it will start from there. And here we have the Windows desktop loaded. Now, like most people, you'll have noticed that the Start button has been removed, but there's no need to panic. You can get back to the Metro interface by simply pressing the Windows key. The other useful shortcut to remember is Windows T and C. This will launch the Charms menu on the right-hand side of the screen, and this in many respects is a replacement for the old Start menu. You can see here that it has Start, which takes you back to the Metro interface, uh, Search and Settings. Now the search is just as it was in the old Start bar. You can click on that and start typing for something that you want to find, and it will search through your apps, settings and files that are on the computer. You can see here that it's listed the apps that it's found on the computer, both in the main part of the screen and also in this list here, and you can scroll up and down to find other apps that you have in the Metro interface. Just by way of demonstration, we're going to search for user, and we'll see what settings are available for this. You can see here that Windows can't find any apps to do with user, but there are 18 settings, so we're going to click on settings, and then Windows will list all the different settings options to do with user. And here you can see some of the different options, such as changing your picture password, the main user accounts window, or managing family safety. And as ever, to return back to the main Start Metro interface, press the Windows key.